We're moments away from the men's individual sabre competition. It's a battle between the USA and Hungary. The USA have never won a Sabre gold medal. Whereas Hungary, well, they've won bags of them. 13 gold medals. Sabre has been in the Olympic Games since the very beginning in Athens, 1896. And there was a period throughout the 1930s and into the 1950s where Hungary were pretty much unbeatable in Sabre. But they're up against Daryl Homer. That was his passage through. Max Hartung and Jarbo. Double German takeout from Homer. And Aaron Zelagi, the reigning Olympic champion. His passage through to the final semi final. He really did control the. Uh, bouncing and uh, aggressive Korean uh, Kim Jung Wang referee for this bout is Medat El Bakri of Egypt yeah it's his job to decide who has the right of way you'll hear us talk about that all the time here uh, in the fencing commentary box the right of way is all about who has the initiative to land the attack whose turn it is and you establish the right of way by either starting the attack first before your opponent or finding the blade. If you're being attacked, you've got to use a parry to defend yourself, you use your sword to block your opponent, or you've got to run away and make your opponent miss by using your feet, and then you take your turn. Homer on the left, Shilagi on the right. It's fast and it's furious. This is Sabre. Yeah, Aaron Jalagi has great timing, wonderful rhythm, uh, finest, one of the finest on the circuit, classic Hungarian technique, and pulls out some pretty outstanding periposts. Not scared to take a risk Ooh. when needed, and it took a, a risk there, right on the back line, swinging around with a periposte. So close to going off the back line there, but able just to hang in and then get the periposte. Yeah, you note the smooth footwork of uh, Daryl Homer on your left as well. One of the finest on his feet. Smooth and clinical and in complete physical control. Also has great technique and marries that with uh, some great courage. And he'll also take risks as well. So we're in for a great final. A flunge there from Homer to get him off the mark, so big step in, eyes open, looking to see what Zilagi's doing. Zilagi stands still, so Homer lands an attack. Right. There, Zilagi just went into a closed line at the end, and Homer gets his second. A closed line by that, I mean that uh, he went round to the flank side, to the sword arm side, and Homer had extended his arm in that line. If you listen to the blade contact as well, it gives you an idea of what's going on. And if you hear the clack clack of a parry riposte, it'll give you an idea that the, the right of way has changed. Well, Zalagi there, using a couple of slow steps to slow the attack down before then landing under the wrist moment he's uh, taken control of the tactical battle yeah Zelagi's bossing this so far another attack from Homer for me and uh, the referee thinks so too Zelagi calls for a video
So Aaron Jalagi wouldn't be the first to defend uh, an Olympic Sabre gold medal. The last time it was done uh, was by Jean-Francois Lamour uh, from 84 to 88. Jalagi steals the right of way using his feet, escapes Homer's attack, gets out of the distance and then picks up the attack here. Even picks up the blade just to make sure and then lands with a through cut across the chest. Oh, what a beauty there from Aaron Jalagi. He lured Homer into that attack and then just a massive parry riposte bringing the sword down from the low line up onto the back shoulder of the American. What a beauty. You've got to say, of the three weapons, Sabre is the most impressive to watch as a spectator. It's swashbuckling stuff. It's the kind of fencing and sword fighting that you would imagine you would see in the films. It's the Three Musketeers. You can just imagine them standing on a balcony somewhere fencing and fighting it was actually developed uh, Sabre for fighting on horseback well, Zalagi is going to back to the retreat back to the ranch he's taken us to the break uh, with an 8-4 lead there was a beautiful power riposte there from Daryl Homer in the middle uh, he's certainly not out of this but uh, like I say the tactical battle at the moment is being bossed by the reigning Olympic champion and he is looking to be uh, uh, another one on the list to defend his Olympic title. And Jalagi choosing not to sit down. Standing up during the break. Yeah, talking with his coach uh, Andres Deshi there, the brother of uh, another member of uh, this Hungarian team. And there is Yuri Gelman talking to Daryl Homer. Homer looks concerned. Shalagi just making sure that his feet aren't, haven't got any moisture on them as he comes back onto the piece. But as they test their weapons, so referee Medat Al Bakri brings them onto guard. And can't separate them on that attack. Looks like he's going to go to the video. And is that? He's sent to the referee. Can go to the video of his own volition, but that time, uh, Jalagi sent him there. Yeah, both fences have uh, a couple of video appeals and that was a good one for Aaron Zhilagi not only will he keep his one of his video appeals or both of his video appeals he also gets the point and he brings the score to 9-4 Zhilagi on the attack stuttering attack and it comes through to make it 10-4 he's landing a lot of hits on the sword arm of uh, Homer if Homer gets smart to that, he'll be able to put in a parry riposte. That looked to me, Homer's there. Yep. Zhilagi just stuttered slightly. There, stuttered. And although they hit at the same time, Homer had continued his attack without a break. So still had the right of way. Yeah, Zhilagi had guessed that uh, Homer was going to the flank, got it wrong. That time using that point attack that he does ever so often. Just going straight to the middle of the chest of Homer. 
and he's now four away from retaining his Olympic title. Again, looking for that parapost. It, it looks like he's made a big error there, but you have to take these risks in Sabre. You have to step in and take a bit of a guess, take a bit of a gamble. Uh, when it doesn't pay off, you look a little bit, bit daft, but when it does, you look like a superstar. Attack is blocked out by Homer. Homer has the right of way, but Zelagi steps in with a beautiful counteraction. And Zelagi is storming his way to retaining this gold medal at the Olympic Games. A little shake of his head from Daryl Homer. He just cannot work out what to do. Yeah, swinging his arm around, moving forwards is something he definitely shouldn't do. So 12-6, three points away from Jalag for Jalagi. That looked pretty much that they started at the same time. No point given. And again, that looked simultaneous to me. And again, at that time, the referee's given it to Jalagi. Yeah, preparation. So in the middle of that, Homer went looking for the blade. There you go. Yeah. And the attack goes through for Jalagi. Homer looking to break the distance, but he didn't manage to stop the attack from coming through. There he stops, tries to skip out of the way, but Jalagi was smart to it, just slowed down the attack. And Aaron Zilagi, just one point away. Now, looks like they've gone to the video here. And there they are, Papatura on the left, Al Bakri, the referee on the right, just reviewing the video. Homer feels that he did pick up the right of way. Referee's coming back to let us know. No, and he didn't. It stays as it was. So Aaron Jalagi just one point away from retaining his Olympic. <laughs> Not that time. Oh, Daryl Homer does not know when he's been beaten. So brave, stepping in when he knows Zelagi's just one point away from victory in the gold medal. Well, finally, things are going Daryl Homer's way, but Zelagi just needs one. And that is that. And Aaron Zelagi has retained his Olympic title defended his gold medal from London 2012 and kept up the rich tradition of Sabre. Brilliant performance from Daryl Homer, but it was all to naught. I think he would have taken uh, the offer of a silver medal at the beginning of the day, uh, but when you get to the gold medal match, you can't help but be disappointed if you lose. But uh, Aaron Jalagi has deserved this. He has fenced superbly today and it was a masterful display in the final and uh, the beaming smile says it all. He worked for four years to retain this title and he's done it successfully. And big hugs for the Olympic champion. That's confirmation that Aaron Jalagi is the winner and has retained his Olympic title. At 26 years old, he's got time.